Morning, super rude dog. I know, I don't look like a million dollars. I feel like a million dollars though. Been busy, been working, got a lot of stuff going on. Today's video is about understanding the cone of per perspective in an organization where you work, military, or whatever. I worked on this one for a little while. People who understand it will appreciate it. People who don't understand it will think about it and eventually it'll catch on. So the cone of perspective, and this also links into communication, why it's so important especially if our work environment is struggling and we're fighting against each other so horribly that we put all of us at risk because we're really not doing our function, what we're paid to do, no matter what that is. And this can happen in, in huge organizations, little organizations, and this is one of the reasons why when companies get real big, they eventually go under or quality of service begins to fail or just bad stuff bad stuff why they have to go into unethical practices to to survive um, so I'm gonna explain it to you and why it's so important and if you're in an organization and you watch this video if you just adopt some of this stuff that I've learned and I'm willing to share that uh, you'll see a positive change right away I guarantee it I guarantee it so the cone of perspective Imagine, if you will, a giant circle that's like a cone. And each layer of that cone has a viewpoint. And so if you're on a layer in that cone, you can only see all the viewpoints below yours, which is also restrictive in another nature. And this is why communication is important. So let me explain it to you. Let's say you're a worker on the bottom rude dog and let's say there's an arena down in the very bottom that's the populace that's the people that work there okay and one step up is direct supervision they're on the next layer the only thing they can see is down and then they have mid-level management they're focused on the next level down they're watching them and they're watching you on up executive management watching middle management watching direct supervision watching the workers at the bottom so here's what's important to understand the higher you go sure you see more of the picture but there's so much data so much to see it's hard to figure out what's going on. It's hard to lead when you're in an organization that has doesn't have open and free communication. So think about this perspective for a moment. So I'm a worker down here on the bottom. My work environment is crazy, dysfunctional. It happens, harassing people. Uh, like where I was, there was harassment, hoarding work, uh, special people all kinds of stuff that weren't being tended to one of the reasons why I got so bad communication number one thing I'm telling you people got to talk and work out their problems find detailed ways detailed and creative ways to make everything better you know and I'll tell you something about a work environment it's really never about how the individual feels himself it's about how the individual makes other people feel now if you're not a spiritual religious person that's okay but you cannot hide that reality that you cannot just treat people like crap and get away with it. Even, even if you get away with it personally, the work environment suffers, the work dynamic suffers, and you put that whole work dynamic at risk and everybody in it. That's a heavy burden to carry. So I wouldn't want to carry it. I uh, carry myself in a professional manner and don't try to harm others. But anyway, I, I don't want to get sidetracked about the viewpoint. So the higher you go, the more of the picture you see, but you actually don't know any more that's going on than the guy on the bottom. The guy on the bottom can't even see you. He can't even wave at you or communicate with you because that 
line, that viewpoint's not there. Uh, it, and then actually people always say it has to start at the bottom or start at the top. It does. It does. It starts at the top with good policy. Um, usually what happens though, the communication is so, is so poor that by the time somebody can intervene into a bad situation, the situation's already lost. That, that, that's a common thing. Or nothing gets done about a problem, a serious problem, especially if it's a personnel problem or administrative and money problems. They always seem to like, oh, I don't want to see that. Oh my God. Oh my God. But think about it if we had open lines of communication from our viewpoint. So where does it start? No matter where you are on that stair step, that arena, that viewpoint. Remember, we only look down or we look at each other. So on the floor as an employee, at the bottom of the barrel, Sponsor a good team environment. Communicate with people. Learn how to accept others. Learn how to say I'm sorry. Learn how to realize that whatever level you're on, that's your team. That's your group. Up above that level, there's So who do you talk to? Who do you get who do you get talking to you? Your very first level up. Who's ever supervising you? and your group, your group influence. If your whole group, and even if you're on the very bottom or on one of those tiers I talked about, if none of you are talking, none of you are organized, and none of you are working together, it's happenstance. Whatever happens, happens. There's no organization, there's no plan. People aren't working together. And you're not tending to the needs of the group below you either, because messed up so understand the cone of perspective and knowing where to communicate and how it's impossible to jump the cone of perspective because what you see is important in your perspective isn't important to a guy four levels up or a lady or a gal four levels up it's important to you and your direct supervision that's why you gotta talk communicate keep things in your group that perspective so some some guys at the top a guy take an example a guy at the very top he's just looking down over everything you know he said he could see everything and what good that does is rules of communication especially in the hierarchy of command Put all that together and understand what you actually see every day when you go to work at your level. What you actually see at your level is what you and your peers should be talking about. To improve. Make improvements. Move your team. Get that dysfunction out of your workplace. Get people working together. There's two theories actually. A man named McGregor. Theory X. It says that workers are lazy, have no motivation, are there to extort the company. He studied that. That was his first position. Later on, he took all that back. Theory Y. He actually said that people that actually are pulled in, fostered into participation, and have a defined plan and direction every day, like and love that, if not more, than financial reward. If you're upper management and you see this, think about what I'm telling you. If you're a worker and you see this, doesn't matter where you are, I don't care where you are. If you don't work with me, that's okay. Think about that person sitting right next to you, what you can do, how you can work together, and accept your situation, accept your reality, and work together and work out of it, and grow a good team, have financial security and good throughput for your teams so we're happy at work thanks for watching my video have a nice day